Kia ora guys and welcome back to New Zealand. Now, I don't normally buy second-hand digital cameras. I buy second-hand old film cameras and I've never had a problem doing that. I've never been concerned about doing that. It's just, you know, you, you buy an old camera, you take pot luck. I've just bought this one and man, it took me so long to decide to actually pull the pin and, and go for it. Film cameras to me seem sort of bulletproof. They'll stand the test of time. Digital cameras, who knows? Who knows what they've been through? I don't understand digital cameras, to be fair. Too much technology in them. They're just, ah, there's so much that can go wrong with them. I know how to use them. No idea how to break one apart and, and try and mend it and fix it and play with it and whatever. So a while back, my trusted, beloved X100F made its way to England to my old dad. He and my mum are absolutely loving the Fujifilm X100F. Now turn around. This is Dad with his new camera. Loving it, Paul. <laughs> Absolute loving it. Brilliant. He is, absolutely. <laughs> Hiya. Couldn't wish for anything better. <laughs> Bye. You know something it's a beautiful camera i'm missing it i'm missing it like crazy if i want to get up get out not think about loading film dragging extra film with me metering with a handheld meter messing about with focus or manual focus lenses anything anything like that if i just want to get up pick a camera up i always tended to go for the fuji x100f fast reliable discreet beautiful beautiful camera so i'm missing it so i decided to get this bad boy I saw it online, reasonable price, or I thought it was a reasonable price. This is a Fujifilm X Pro 2, and it came with a 20 millimeter, no it didn't, it came with a 23 millimeter F2 lens, Fuji non aesthetical lens. So the kit also came with a charger, obviously, spare battery, come in handy, various little bits and bobs, National Geographic bag, funky, various cables, bits and bats. It came with a flash as well. Where's the flash? What did I do with the flash? I have no idea. I tend to never use the flashes on these uh, these little mirrorless cameras, but it came with this big old flash. It is a, I have no idea what it is, a foatism. Never heard of it. I presume it's either a Chinese or Korean knockoff. But it's there in case I ever need it, which I probably won't. Anyway, so the bad boy, the camera, the X100F was released in 2017. And this bad boy that I've just bought is a year younger than that. This was released in March 2016. It came with this little half case as well, original Fujifilm half case, which is pretty cool. I'm not gonna dig into all the specs and tell you all the specs, because anybody that's slightly interested in this camera knows all about it. Just as to type in X-Pro2 on, on YouTube and you'll find 20 gazillion videos all about the specifications, all about the technical details about the camera. I'm not gonna do that. I just wanna pick up the camera, get out and make a few shots, which is exactly what I've done today. The camera arrived on Wednesday, I've been working hard out covering COVID leave and all that sort of malarkey. So today is Saturday and I finally managed to get out and get a few shots with it. I decided to take, really? Jet boats. So I finally got out with it today. It wasn't the greatest day in the world, but I wanted to take the camera out, just get a few shots, see what it would do. I set the camera in the Acros mode with the red filter, just to give myself a little bit more contrast. I also decided to record the video, any little b-roll video that I shot with this camera as well. So stills and video, what could be simpler? Not as easy as you would think, because unfortunately, using the video, I didn't, I didn't record much video. I only took one battery with me, stupidly. Yeah, what can I say? Not much video recorded. The battery, whoa, way down, way fast. Future reference, take a spare battery with me all the time, every time. The reason I went for the X-Pro2 instead of the updated, newer version, the X-Pro3, a case of simple economics. 
The X-Pro 3 is a lot dearer than this. This thing does more than I'm ever going to need it to do. It was just so easy, so enjoyable, just to walk around the streets. It's weather sealed, so I wasn't too bothered about the rain. Mate, really? It just got on with the job, it just did the business, and, uh, and I picked up a few nice little photographs from it. So uh, here's a little slideshow, guys. Hope you enjoy. Until next time, catch you later.